I'm a large man, and there are benefits that go along with that. I never have to ask somebody else to help me reach something at the grocery store. There, there are downsides to it. If you're short, you've probably never had the rivets in the school bus pull your hair out as you walk down the school bus. But there are benefits that go along with being a large man. And one of the benefits is nobody picks on you. I can walk down the darkest, ugliest alley in York at any time of the night. Nobody's like, yeah, we're going to jump that guy. But it wasn't always the case. Because at one point in time, I was a smaller kid. But before I hit puberty, I was the same size as everybody else, shorter than some of the girls, and I got picked on. I got picked on a lot. I got bullied mercilessly because I didn't fight back. I didn't stand up for myself. I just took it and took it and took it and shoved the emotions down until the one time that was like no other. It was high school, and I had just come off of perhaps one of the worst weeks of my life. I do not remember all of the details, but I know one of my grandparents had died. We had gone up to the funeral. While we were at the funeral, my brother had taken my cat to his trailer, and the cat had escaped. And so now I had no cat. I had no grandmother. It was a horrible, horrible week. And one of the other students who bullied the most often decided that was the day to bully me again. And it was science class, it was biology. I'd come into the class, I'd gone up to turn up some of the paperwork, the homework that I'd done from when I was out and missing work, and I turned it into the bin. And I turned around, and there's Eric, is holding my book bag over top of the biology trash can. It's not a normal trash can. We'd been dissecting frogs that week. So this trash can is full of frog guts and carcasses, the grossest things you can imagine. And he's just got the worst shit-eating grin on his face, and he's just staring at me. And I said, Eric, not today. What are you going to do? I was like, Eric, not today day and a tear starts coming down my eye as I'm going up to him and he's like whatever fatso and that was the moment when it all just clicked into place all of the anger and the sadness and the rage and everything that I'd repressed for years and I remember nothing other than seeing Eric on the floor <laughs> and the entire class was just in absolute chaos as the teacher walked in. He hadn't been in the classroom. And this teacher always referred to us by our last names. And he looks down, and he'd been teaching for a while. Nothing phased this guy. He said, what happened to Burns? <laughs> and everybody was silent for a while. And then somebody said, McDonald hit him. <laughs> he says, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back to his desk and he has some other students help Eric get up and you take him to the nurse. And it was at the end of the class period, he says, McDonald, I need you to stay here. I'm like, oh shit. You know, I've spent my whole life being so good and I've never been sent to the principal's office and I know this is it, I'm in trouble. And he waits until everybody else has left. And he says, did you knock out Burns? I said, yeah, I think I did. Well, he must have deserved it. Go to your next class. 